Long before it was common to talk about leadership in the church, I knew in my gut that a high-challenge, vision-filled experience for Christian leaders was desperately needed. Now, 20 years later, the stage has been set for an unprecedented global movement impacting 190,000 leaders in 105 countries all around the world. What makes the Global Leadership Summit one of the most unique experiences of its kind in all the world is its steadfast commitment to challenging everybody to step up and embrace the critical role that God has assigned to them. This year, we're dedicating an entire session to learn from three fantastic leaders who are courageously living out their faith in the workplace. Through their stories, we will be challenged and inspired to think differently about the impact of our leadership. Let me introduce you to this year's powerful lineup of Summit speakers. Are faith and business incompatible? Don Flo is a living answer to this question. He asserts that wealth, properly considered, is critical to the flourishing of life. Early on, Don had a dream for integrating his theology with his business. He envisioned a company that operated with the highest of ethics while using its profits to help the broader community thrive. The son of a car dealership owner, Don took the reins of the family business, turning Flow Automotive into a huge franchise, bringing his vision of infusing Christian principles into all the company's commercial dealings. Today, Flow Companies employs 1,100 and operates 33 franchises throughout North Carolina and Virginia. Alan Catherine Kajina's 20-year career as a public servant has been marked by her fight against corruption in her role as leader of the Ugandan Revenue Authority. Previously known for its unethical practices, she would say that it was her faith in God that helped spur the URA's journey. A reformer and innovator, Alan focused the URA on the greater good for Uganda. Her aim was not just to acquire more revenue, but to move the country from a borrower to a giver nation. This advance allowed the government to pay its debts and fund its plan for developing Uganda. As a result, the URA has become a model public institution for developing countries. Allen has become a recognized leader in the area of resource management and has become a sought after speaker in international forums on the subject. In my own life, God has taught me crucial leadership lessons through the speakers who have provoked me or exposed areas that I needed to grow in as a leader. I wouldn't be who I am today apart from the summit's influence in my life. There's nothing quite like being in an environment of like-minded women and men learning from one another about how to be the best leaders we can be in our God-given roles. The summit has created a leadership culture that unifies our team around here at Willow, around shared vision, common language, and so. Your team, too, can benefit greatly from experiencing the summit together. Very excited for everyone to hear Jeffrey Immelt. He's the current CEO of General Electric. He took over right after 9-11, one of the most difficult times in corporate history. And since then, he's done a fantastic job leading that company. He's been named one of the world's best CEOs three times by Barron's Magazine. Another faculty member that I'm really anxious for the Summit crowd to meet is Wilfredo de Jesus, pastor of New Life Covenant Church. When he took over, it had about 200 people. It has over 17,000 people today. He's one of Time Magazine's 100 most influential people. I'm eager for all of you to hear Susan Cain. She's the award-winning New York Times bestselling author. She wrote a book called Quiet, The Power of Introverts in a World That Can't Stop Talking. It's named the best book of the year by Fast Company. Almost 8 million viewers saw her TED Talk. It was incredible. I predict that one of the most interesting sessions is gonna be the session with Tyler Perry. He's written and starred in feature films. He's known all throughout Hollywood as being a person of deep faith, deep compassion. He's an incredible leader, a creative, and a philanthropist. One of the consistent features of the Leadership Summit is our promise to not just inspire you, but to also deliver intellectually rigorous content that's application focused. You are a leader. You solve problems. So what happens when it's you getting in the way of the solutions? Many experts offer tips on how to deal with other people, but Erica Ariel Fox is going to give us some new tools for how to lead ourselves. Erica has worked with top experts in the fields of negotiation and leadership. She is a lecturer at Harvard Law School and has published work in Forbes, Huffington Post, and Harvard Business Review, as well as authoring the New York Times bestseller, Winning From Within. 
Founding partner of Mobius Executive Leadership, she provides advisory and consulting services to top leaders from around the world. Erica's method will drive your most important negotiations, the ones you have with yourself. One of the most influential Christian leaders in India, Dr. Ivan Satyavrata is an instrument of change bringing hope to his nation. Pastoring a leading-edge church in Kolkata and providing direction to some of the most strategic ministries in India, his impact is powerfully felt in India's most important cities. Born in what was Bombay, Ivan was headed down a dark path when he came to find Jesus as a 17-year-old. The trajectory of his life made a complete turnaround. Going on to seminary and earning a PhD at Oxford Center for Mission Studies, Ivan dedicated his life to serving the nation of India. Today, Pastor Ivan leads Assemblies of God Church, the largest church in one of the poorest cities in the world, Kolkata, India. Every week, the church and its network of ministries educate thousands of students, provide medical treatment for the sick, and feed 10,000 children a day, six days a week. His life and ministry focuses on evangelism in a multi-faith context and engagement with the urgent social issues facing his country. So that's an inside look at some of this year's faculty. I have the opportunity to teach the opening session again this year. The full lineup includes Tyler Perry, filmmaker, actor, and philanthropist. Jeffrey Immel, president and CEO of General Electric. Susan Cain, best-selling author of Quiet, the power of introverts in a world that can't stop talking. Wilfredo De Jesus, pastor of New Life Covenant Church and one of Time Magazine's 100 Most Influential People. Patrick Lencioni, best-selling business author and founder of The Table Group. Carly Fiorina, former CEO of Hewlett Packard and chairman of Good360. Ivan Satyavrata, senior pastor of the Assembly of God Church in Calcutta, India. Brian Loritz, founding and senior pastor of Fellowship Memphis Church. Joseph Grenny, best-selling author and social scientist for business performance. Alan Catherine Kajina, Commissioner General of the Uganda Revenue Authority. Louis Giglio, pastor of Passion City Church and founder of the Passion Movement. Erica Ariel Fox, New York Times best-selling author and president of Mobius Executive Leadership. And finally, Don Flo, chairman and CEO of Flo Companies. Leadership is about influence, and each of us has a responsibility to steward our influence well. Do whatever it takes to invest in your own leadership. Protect the time on your calendar to be here for this year's Leadership Summit. Your church, your community, your family, and our world need you to lead well. The stage is set. See you at the summit.